All right, let's go, Charles. This is called Tree Whispers. I had a dream in dark of night before the hills were kissed with light. The wind did call, the trees they spoke, to stir my soul before I woke. Mystery in the wooded hill, branches smooth, the stars are still, and so begin the rites of old. Leaf by leaf the tales unfold, carpeting the scripted floor, the woods are filled with ancient lore. I long for treescapes deep and wide, quiet sentries side by side, bending bow and creaking limb, rustling when the light is dim. Movement on the wooded hill, turn to look, then all is still, but do you hear beneath the bark whispers as it's growing dark? Tendril fingers in the ground, under tussock, over mound. Roots hold dear the bosom earth, roots to feed the mighty girth. It's not the might which awe inspires, nor the scars of distant fires, nay, trees take root by God's good grace that they may hold the world in place. Thank you. Um, hi, Mom, are you gonna do the intro? Yeah, I can do the intro. Uh. So hello, everybody. Um, today, we are going to have a, a short book reading by my son, Leo. Um, it's a book that he'll tell you a little bit about the story of the book, but my job is to show you the cover page. And now with that, and without further ado, drum roll from Tomas, drum roll. Okay, Leo, over to you, my friend. I'm gonna go on mute. Okay, um, thanks, Mom. So, my story is called The Glitch, um, and there's like a cover picture that I, I guess I could show you. I'll turn on my camera for like a little bit so you can see the thing. See, that's the cover thing. So the story starts at this sentence. It was the day Tyler and I found out the world was not real and never but was but created so that we would think it was real. That was a starter prompt I got from my school and I built the rest of the story off everything um I knew about glitches and um so I connected it to a video game lot. Meet Sarah and Tyler. Of course, there's no way you know who me and Tyler are, so let us rewind. It was a wonderful day. Me and Tyler were both late for school. I hate it when I have to pack my own lunch, Tyler yelled. Really? That is why you're late? I yelled back. Yes, how about you, Tyler said. I slept in, I said, rolling my eyes. Ha 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 da 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 <coughs> he choked. Ha, I spoke. So, so, it's crazy. You were late for school five times in a row. Now this is your sixth, Tyler said, still in a weak voice from choking. Then, then we realized the hole in the sky made of tiny tears. What in the name of Jesus? Tyler screamed in horror like a crazy lunatic. Calm down, we just need to get in the school. But where are the rocks and the lava pit? I spoke. Then squares fell out of the sky. That works, Tyler said, not realizing they fell out of the sky. Oh my God, they fell out of the sky, he exclaimed. Now he realizes. Come on, before they disappear, I yelled. Chapter 2, Mario Mania. We jumped on the blocks one by one, and then a red hat with an M on it, followed by a wah in an Italian accent, fell out of the sky. Then a figure with red clothes and a bikini showed. Why do you have a bikini? It's winter, I asked. It's an overall, he said proudly. What's the difference between them? Honestly, I spoke. Never mind. The real question is, who are you two, he answered. I'm Sarah and this is Tyler. Who are you? I asked. 
I am the one, one and only Mario. He said doing a front flip then showing a peace sign. How did you get here? We asked. So let me start from the beginning. It was a wonderful day. My princess was captured by Bowser. So I went to his castle. Then a hole made of tiny cubes. N then the next thing I know, I'm flying through the air. Then I meet you, you, and that is about it. We spoke. Okay, so you're from a different universe. That's what I got. Tyler said, "I did not get any of you." I said, confused. I do not understand any of it either. Mario said, "Chapter three: The Truth." Then they saw a monster made of blocks. Everything was black. Then they appeared in a white place. Tyler looked up and saw some symbol that said Google. Let's ask Google for help, Tyler said. Who is Google? I asked. Look up, Tyler demanded. Who are Sarah and Tyler, Mario asked. Two video game characters that are late for school and must, and must complete obstacles to get to their class, Google said. So now that you're all caught up to pace, why don't we continue this story? Sarah and Tyler were astonished. What are the small blocks that appear in video games, I asked. They are called pixels. They are what games are made up, made of, but when they fall apart, it means there's a glitch, Google said. Thanks, I spoke. I did not get that, Google answered. Never mind, I spoke. I did not get that, Google said. Oh, I groaned. Chapter 4, Huggy. Then a fuzzy blue creature ap appeared. Then he stood up, Sarah. Sh then he stood up. Sarah and Tyler, sh uh, Sarah, Tyler, and Mario shrieked. He had exceedingly long arms, a seven and seven feet. He was seven feet tall and had rows and rows of shirt of teeth. Ah, monster! Tyler yelled. Tyler, look, I don't want to hurt you. I just want to get back to my factory. He said. The stranger said, "Who are you?" Mario asked. Oh, my name is Huggy Wuggy. He spoke. Hi, Huggy Wuggy. I spoke. Oh. I go by his puggy, he answered. Okay, so you're not going to eat us, Tyler said. No, I will help you if you help me, Huggy said. Deal. How are you going to help us, Tyler asked. Well, I do have long, I have, I do have long arms that could help with some fights, Huggy said. Wait. What are you, Tyler said. Asked a toy, he said nervously. Yeah. A living toy, Mario and Tyler yelled. Calm down, he's probably a video game too. I think I know what is going on. Somebody's glitching games and the games are starting to act up, I spoke. So you found out our plan to destroy all game verses, I said a stranger. We spun around and saw a strange character made of pixels. He had a voice that sounded like claws scratching metal. My name is Gl the Chapter Five. The enemy. My name is Glitch Crash. The stranger said. Th then an animatronic bear fell out of the sky. Who are you? The animatronic said. Hi, I am Sarah, and this is Tyler, and this is Mario, and this is Huggy. I explained. Hi, I am Freddy. He spoke. Then a crazy guy appeared. I am, hi, I am Jiffy. Uh, 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 uh. Yup. Then a string ball of pixels fell on. Then, then he started to dissolve into, dissolve into pixels. What just happened, Tyler yelled. He got hit by a glitch virus. You see, when a virtual character gets hit by a glitch virus, the code and avatar get teared apart, spoke Glitch Crash. Chapter 6, The Battle. You monster! Let's get rid of him, Freddy exclaimed. I'm in. Let's show him who's boss. 
with my long arms and your strength, you won't stand a chance against us, Huggy said. Huggy and Freddy charged at Glitch Path. Before either of Freddy or or before Huggy or Freddy could hit Glitch Crash, everything turned black. Then they appeared in a ship labeled Skeld. Then Freddy and Huggy attacked, but Glitch Crash swung his hand and set Huggy, sent Huggy flying. Meanwhile, Freddy got a great hit that sent Glitch Crash flying into the walls, which caused a few pieces of metal to fall off the ship. Tyler picked up one and one of the pieces. I have an idea, Tyler whispered. As I kept watching the fight, Tyler started to build armor with the assist of Mario. Glitch Crash managed to get both Huggy and Freddy on the floor. Glitch Crash was about to finish them when suddenly a green flash of energy and a blast of fire blasted Glitch Crash off his feet. Bam! He started to dissolve. You may have beaten me, but you will never beat my master, Glitch Crash yelled. Chapter 7. New Weapons We defeated Glitch Crash, but one question stays unanswered. Who is Glitch Crash's master? Then I saw Huggy and Freddy look wide eyed at Tyler, who had a big mech suit. Yay, Freddy! Hey, Freddy, hug, catch. Tyler said he handed Huggy two new neck fists and Freddy two new arms that could extend. Sweet, these could come in handy for the fight against whoever that monster's master is, Freddy exclaimed. Something for you, Sarah. When he turned to me, he handed me two small circles. He told me to put them on my hands, on the palm of my hands. I did as I was told. Okay, now try shooting with fire like Mario said. She saw Mario shooting fire. Okay, sir, I, I said softly. I focused and started controlling fire. Sweet. Let's do this thing, I spoke. I can open a portal to the dimension of the glitch king is in. I can open a portal to the dimension the glitch king is in, Tyler said. How do you know all this, Freddy asked. I found a tag on the floor that glitch crash must have dropped, Tyler confessed. So Tyler made a portal, then sat on Tyler, Freddy, and Huggy set off to their destination to face the glitch king. So that is the little story I wrote. Um, Huggy is from a game called Poppy Playtime and Freddy's from a series called um, Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, I brought these video game characters in because I, um, I think they're in. I like like their the series, and I'm interested in them. And uh, that's how the final project turned out. Um, mom, is there anything you all have to say about it? Well, what I have to say is that I am really, really impressed with the quality of that uh, that story, and uh, I can't wait for the sequel, Leo. Thanks so much for sharing with the world. Uh, yeah, um, I was thinking for the sequel, if there's, um, I was thinking, mom, maybe you could help with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's talk about it offline. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's the end of the book. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. You're showing your, you're showing your face now. Yeah. Hello, everyone. And this time we're going to hear Tomas, my other son, recite a poem um, that he wrote with a few friends from his class. Okay, Tomas, is there anything else you'd like to say about this poem before you begin? To um, I created it from a few ideas from a classmate. So okay. It 
the title is called Our Skin. Okay, I'm going to start it. Tall or short, round or thin, doesn't matter what sports kid, dark or light, black or white, doesn't matter what height skin. It's what we all breathe, live, laugh in. It's all of our skin. Good job, buddy. Thank you so much. That was really, really beautiful. Um, thank you for sharing it with everyone. Okay, anything else? I like to eat lollipops. Okay, thank you for that. See you later, alligator. Okay, bye. Bye.